The 23rd floor of this building was given $15 million worth of renovations to make it into an emergency command center for Mayor Giuliani. For example, it was given bullet and bomb resistant windows. There is nothing strange about adding reinforcements to a government office to protect them in case of attack. In fact, many retail businesses have bullet resistant windows. However, this particular office had its own air and water supply, and it was designed to withstand winds of 160 miles per hour. To make the situation more suspicious, the reinforcements were only for this one floor, so that meant most of the building was just an ordinary office building. Why would they protect only one floor? This seems as silly as installing bulletproof glass in only one window of the president's automobile. Furthermore, why would they need their own air supply? And how about the protection from a 160 mile per hour wind? Well, consider that when the towers fell down, clouds of dust and grit were thrown outward at a very high speed. The only people protected from that blast were in this special emergency command center. Of course, the city government claims the entire building was evacuated at 9 in the morning, so nobody was inside this special reinforced bunker when the towers collapsed. This meant that the city spent $15 million to make this special reinforced bunker, and then everybody abandoned it just when it would have been useful. But did everybody really abandon Building 7? It would have been a great place for people to supervise the attack because the 23rd floor provided a wonderful view of the area and the occupants were protected from the dust and debris.